Rec Dixon, CEO of Rec Shop Records, responsible for bringing you Fat Pat, Big Mo, did a lot of work with ESG, Pokey, the Rec Shop family, uh, did some films, Dirty Third One, Dirty Third Two, Mike Jones movie. Uh, man, just happy to be a part of the Houston music scene, which I consider to be the richest in legacy of all music scenes, dating all the way back to Jay Prince, kicking in the door with rap a lot. You know all the success that came from that with Scarface, or the Ghetto Boys, Tila, Devin, Big Mike. I can go on and on. Jay Prince still doing his thing. We had a lot of fantastic eras that came through. We had DJ Screw, Michael Watts, all the things that came from that, all of the arts that spun from that. I could mention all the names. We had a great movement at the time of Paul Wall, Slim, uh, Mike Jones, Chameleon, now, all those guys when they broke national. So man, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about seeing where our music scene is headed next. And that's what this is about, you know what I'm saying? So right now, I'm getting ready to work with some of the hottest up and coming artists in Houston right now in this moment. The guys right now that's dictating the sound of the city at this moment. The first project we're doing is Unity One. I'm gonna center it around DJ XO. We're gonna get into Unity Two, where we're gonna work with some of the other hot up and coming artists because there's a lot of talent out here. Can't get them all on one project, but we're gonna eventually get all of the hottest up and coming artists. They will have a chance to represent themselves and show that they have the sound of the city. missing one song like just that one song that'll just complete this whole process so EXO and D-Boy already made some calls got Young Al gonna be in the studio got D-Flowers gonna be in the studio and I'm gonna hang out with these niggas all day until we get that one song that I know I need Myself, naturally, y'all hear that? Y'all see the step, like so on the national. That's me, that's my people. What we do is we represent poverty, we stand up for the trenches. I won't do it, preach progression, make these young niggas get motivated in the hood. I got the wreck with me. You see me, I'm gonna be with the scraps nine times out of ten. Y'all be ready for representing poverty, cause that shit right around the corner, man. I'm telling y'all, I got something that's gonna motivate a homeless man, a preacher, a teacher, a prostitute. We don't judge nobody, man. We got shit for everybody. I don't give a damn if you a dentist. We got something for you, man. That time of the year, naturally. How how you feeling? Cause that's just gonna kinda make me go. Man, I'm looking at something. Cause you know they can get on anything, so right. whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever vibe we get in and we Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be able to you know what I'm saying? They gonna be able to get on that shit and just do their thing. actually really just, you know what I mean, focus and do what they need to do without feeling like they on stage and without having cameras in their face. I mean, I got, I got, a, I got a line of my ducks and roll, you know what I'm saying? It's cook, cook. I got to go with this shit hard. I like Dallas, you. I like the whole. Yeah, that plain, Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'm on my knees, 
just call it freestyle and go for two. Got that energy too, man. You want to know how to ruin a studio session? You want to know how to just stop everything in its tracks? Start talking about LeBron's and Michael Jordan and who's the best. Hey, look, he had one play you know, when, he won, two, or when he won the two. When he won the two, he was the You can call ten of your niggas and they not finna say that nigga's better than Mike. Hold on, hold on, buddy. What I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is. <laughs> that's that's right. Let's call ten of oh, whoever you, you want to call. Nine. You ain't got to call my nigga. Seven nine, Let's call ten. I'm loving the work ethic. I'm seeing how, you know what I'm saying, how relentless he is and how committed he is to not leaving here until this shit done right. so many Houston niggas dick pulling and doing the extras when the nigga come to city. You're not even giving niggas room to give you your pat on the back or respect a woo. And we, it's like, it's like you're a dog that's running fast and jumping high to all the other dogs, and you just come into the owner, turn your ass to him, like, pat mine, pat mine. He might not even pat yours, you're doing too much. Nigga just be everybody, go crazy. Nigga do what you do. And then a nigga gonna say, that's that motherfucker, you feel me? OGs of this shit, like young OGs of this shit. Like niggas that came about, like even uh, chose, and I couldn't name too many niggas who woo woo, but XO prime example. Niggas who've been grinding for a certain amount of time and it's coming back, but a lot of dick pulling was going on or they come up. So it ain't all come full fold, you feel me? Yeah. So I know I know in the back of my head I'll be like, man, this shit finna unfold. I, I know for a fact from what everybody said, this shit finna unfold how it's supposed to. And it's gonna be crazy for the niggas who at the head of it if we all play our cards right and play our position and, and just worry about us and ours. Like, fuck everything else, just worry about Houston and ours because if we put us first and everybody else gonna look at us like they always do. I love him, man. man. It was a good, it was a good vibe. Everything always great when I put him on this one, man. Shout out to the individual. I'm worth it. I'm ten toes behind my craft, and I'm ten toes behind this profession as well, man. This shit get beautiful for all of us, man. Full fucking circle. This nigga's been better. Why would the sick? You know, the guy got a stick.